This was Miloš Zeman, the man who is never wrong in politics. Now, let's move on to the last contestant here, Mrs. Jana Bobošikova. Good evening. I hope the presentation will work. I pass you the floor. The countdown, please. No microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, the Czech Republic in 2018 will be a free, democratic, sovereign and prosperous country if, if you uh, elect me as the president of the Czech Republic. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because I think that we are being deprived of our freedoms. I think uh, that democracy is replaced by mediocracy and the results of the last parliamentary elections are a clear uh, example of this. I think that we are not a prosperous country at all because our GDP uh, has been decreasing for four or five quarters. I think that we are no longer uh, a sovereign country because more and more competencies are given away to Brussels. As I say, my program for the Czech Republic is uh, that uh, for me as a president, I will always uh, prioritize uh, the interests of the Czech Republic. They will be number one together with the interests of their citizens. What does that mean? That means that uh, the interests of Brussels will never be number one for me. The uh, Sudet German Landsmannschaft will never be number one for me. Global companies will never be number one, nor will be uh, the international banks number one for me. This means that I firmly believe that people will not forget who sold our banks into foreign hands. I hope that people will not forget uh, who it is uh, that talks about national interests and at the same time sign the Lisbon Treaty. I firmly believe that people will not forget who is behind uh, the infamous photovoltaic boom that made our energy more expensive now. Well, I, sh shortly I believe that people have memory. Stop to Bruselu. Stop to the dictatorship of Brussels. This is something that I say clearly. I have been saying this on all meetings with the citizens. And if I am elected, I will never let more competencies be given away to Brussels. But this doesn't mean that I would like to lead uh, our republic away from the European Union. It doesn't mean that I would uh, like to bang my fist into the table uh, and say that we should lead the European Union. But it means that I would do my best to uh, avoid uh, adopting uh, nonsensical quotes about the curbing of bananas and about four 40% of uh, managing posts should be filled by women to avoid the oxen eggs and uh, Coca-Cola with uh, lower quality than that sold in uh, the countries to the west of our republic. These are things that I would like to stop and which I mean by the dictate of Brussels. For me, Brussels is an express train to, uh, to slavery and poverty. The EU is not the target of the migration of uh, our brains and of our capital, but of our poor people. I say a clear no to the banking, fiscal and political union, because this is the last attempt to get someone to, get someone, to, get someone to pay uh, our debts that we made. There is no such thing as a united European interest. In the European Parliament, I have never seen any common denominator of uh, a European interest, and I, have, I had been looking for it. I asked all the people who uh, call themselves great Europeans. I haven't find, found any such thing. So I say, let's promote the interests of the Czech Republic. Let's have good relations with the countries to the west and to the east of us. But uh, let's not think that the EU could help us and that it has uh, a common interest. It is a battlefield of uh, national grounds, of national interests and of international interests, but there is no 
common interest. One of the competences of the president is to appoint the judges of the constitutional court. Here you can see uh, the competences of the constitutional court. I will do my best to appoint the judges that would represent the constitutional character of our republic without any negative elements. As far as the Czech National Bank is concerned, its goal is to protect the price stability, to help governments, uh, to promote uh, economic growth, which is something that's clearly not happening now. And then another thing, which is often forgotten, and that is uh, making politics on the basis of uh, market principles. We hear a lot about wealth. But uh, the principles of market economy are anchored in, uh, in the law about the Czech National Bank. And if we forget this, it's going to be a road to hell. So now what I promote? I promote freedom, of course, because without uh, a free human spirit, there is no way forward, no progress. I promote the protection of privacy. I'm scared that we are all watched by cameras and all our bank accounts are freely accessible. I promote democracy and I promote a small but strong state. I am against uh, all those uh, street movements. I I support parliamentary democracy, although I'm aware that I will not uh, gain uh, much popularity by this. But I am uh, a supporter of the party political system. A small but strong state uh, would, would cancel the Senate and uh, change the uh, regional system. I, I don't think that we need uh, 14 regions in the Czech Republic. This is too much. All my life I have believed in courage, in the family, and in demanding education. I think that uh, many of you here know uh, that uh, your competitors are not in the universities of Paris, but in China, in Hong Kong or Brazil. I believe in honest work and in the respect to the elderly. And now the last slide, please. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much to uh, Mrs. Jana Bobochiva. Only one follow-up question. You talked about someone who signed the Lisbon Treaty and now talking about uh, furthering Czech national interests. Uh, who did you talk about? The one was Václav Klaus, but he was the one who signed the treaty. So apparently we mean the same person, but there were other people who promoted Lisbon Treaty, calling it uh, a soft yes to the Lisbon Treaty, but now they are promoting uh, our Czech interests. Uh, what do you think have changed uh, during the three years? Well, I think that we have uh, handed over many key competences to Brussels, for example, uh, social inclusion. By signing the Lisbon Treaty, our social policy needs to apply to every person residing in the Czech Republic, including immigrants, for example. So uh, many Slovakians uh, draw our welfare and are entitled to the same welfare as the Czech people. So that's what has changed, for example. Uh, so in my opinion, the only thing we can do is to leave the European Union. No, no, that is not uh, the solution that would agree they harm the Czech Republic, but what we need to do is to reduce red tape. We need to find against very uh, bureaucratic regulation and to find allies. And now, please uh, turn around. Uh, what are you seeing? That's my husband. Are you feeling at home? We are showing your, your husband because uh, as a journalist, uh, you had your own uh, talk show, political talk show, and uh, you said that politicians should not employ uh, their own family members, but uh, right after you became uh, MEP, he was your assistant, but he was never paid, that is right, but he uh, was never paid paid.
So, uh, who did get your money? It was the uh, great uh, uh, bad Brussels. I am uh, very unhappy that you uh, are mentioning it now because when you published it in 2006, maybe 2007, uh, you printed it, uh, you in Hospodarske uh, Noviny, and uh, I prosecuted you and you were forced uh, to apologize to me. So after you are elected president, if you are elected, what about your husband? Is he going to be active in uh, your uh, presidential post? No, he would uh, uh, follow up uh, with his business. He would definitely uh, fulfill me ceremonious roles, but otherwise he would not be involved. Uh, my husband has been supporting me my whole life, and uh, whenever it is needed, he, his advice is free to me.